Hello, this is Dale Calvert. Today is Friday, April the 25th. I'd like to welcome you to the MLM Minute for this week. Uh, Murphy had a law that said nothing happens as quickly as we want it to, or nothing is as easy as it looks. We've all heard of Murphy's Law. Uh, I've been out of the office for about a week. I come back, I'm talking to corporate coaching clients, I'm talking to individual customers and clients that we have. I've been trying to catch up here uh, that I've gotten back in the office and, and I've responded to a ton of emails. And in my opinion, it's like everybody right now is just within the industry is just freaking out. And let me just tell you this, nothing happens as quick as we want it to happen in this industry. It didn't 10, 15, 20 years ago. It won't 10, 15, 20 years from now. Anything that's worth doing is worth doing right. I was talking to a gentleman yesterday. He said, Dale, it seems like the only thing doing any good right now are these halfway scams and money game type deals. And I pretty much agree with that. Uh, you know, that's just kind of the market that we're in right now. Uh, people seem like maybe they are getting lazier all the time. I don't know. Maybe they think they can sit back and make millions on the internet because of the very few people have. But there's no question, and the thing that I want to stress to you guys on the MLM Minute, if it's worth doing, it's worth doing right. And you have to have a picture of what am I ultimately trying to develop. What am I really trying to do here? And, and so many people worry about this month's you know, personal volume, this month's group volume, this month's check, and you know, what happened this week. And if, that, if you have that type of mentality, it will drive you crazy in this industry. You have to have a long-term mentality, a long-term vision and really establish in your mind and your heart that you're willing to go down that road. And more, the most important thing I can share with you is what do you want your business to look like when you get there, when you have arrived? I mean, yes, there's, there's programs out there that you could jump in and maybe make a few thousand dollars pretty quickly. Uh, but the problem with those type of programs in 90 days or more or less, you're going to have to jump in another one and jump in another one. And granted, some people do that, and some people have done really well with that mentality. So it just depends on you and what you're looking for. For me, it's always been about long term. Uh, it's been about maintaining credibility. It's been about uh, putting your time, energy, and effort into something that's going to be there down the road. Uh, it's about changing people's lives. It's about understanding that the real benefit of this business is personal growth is number one. The friendships and, you re and relationships you develop are number two. And what can be developed from a passive residual income standpoint is number three. And I just wanted to just kind of this week tell you, hey, calm down. Uh, nothing happens as quickly as you want it to in this industry. Everything takes time. Anything worth doing and building, uh, anything worth really putting your emotions and your efforts behind, it's going to take time. It's not going to happen overnight. You know, don't have a lottery mentality. And, and this is the final thought, and this is what I want you to really get, because this is the process you're going to go through. When you first start out, you're just trying to learn how to enroll new team members and create customers. You're trying to develop those skills. And that's the first thing that you have to do. If you aren't uh, enrolling five, at least five new people a month into your organization, then you don't need to worry too much about a year, three, five from now, you, or, or what the company's doing or not doing, or you know, what this new deal is, or it should, you know, uh, what you have to do. See, 100% of zero is still zero. And if you don't have the skills and the attitudes and the techniques and the uh, uh, prospecting skills and prospecting methods mastered in whatever company you're with, just because you jump to XYZ company doesn't mean that you're going to make it there either. So the first thing, when you first come in this industry, a company will never make you successful. So you have to learn the skills and attitudes necessary to prospect and recruit. 
As you know, we have programs to help you with uh, localmlmleads.com, at newspapersponsoring.com, at thunderproposals.com, uh, to help you, you know, grasp and master recruiting. That's the first thing that's going to happen. So finally, you're doing five a month, and you're doing four, and you're doing six, and you're doing seven, but you're averaging at least five new people a month. Then you get to a point, okay, you're doing that, but how do you get your people to do anything? Well, they're going to have, a few of the people are going to have to go through the same process you did as far as mastering the skills, attitudes, and prospecting methods in order to get through enough people to create some type of, of progress in their business. Most people won't. Uh, that's why uh, you need to check out startrightmlm.com because that's, that will help you on that aspect of the business. So it's you learning the skills, then helping a few of the people learn skills, and again, five good people a year, and you're, you know, you're going to be set for life. Really, a couple of good people a year for five years, and most of these people, it's going to be a revolving door. They're in the front, out the back, but you need to do your best to maximize the time that they're with you, not just for them, but also for yourself. And again, that goes back to start right MLM, and then the next area is. Finally, you will get some duplication in your group. So you go from you prospecting and recruiting five a month to teaching a few people to do that to finally you've got 10, 20 people in your organization that are able to put in three, four, five, six, seven people a month. So that organization starts to duplicate. Okay, when that organization starts to duplicate, it's still a revolving door. You know, you've got... 20 people that are recruiting on average five people a month in, on your team, but from those people, there's a lot coming in and a lot going out. So during this time period, to get from here to here could take two, three, four, five years at least. And during that time period, it will never your net your business will never be growing as quick as you want it to. Now here's the last concept. Eventually, you get to a point where instead of just distributors coming and going, a few people are staying and being developed through the cycles, and eventually you get to where the first real, real major thing that's going to happen for you, and for many of you, I know this has already happened, but you find somebody that wants it as bad as you do, that's going to do it with or without you. Once that finally happens, it takes your attitude, your mentality, your energy level, everything to a completely different level. Because you realize if you could find one, you could probably find two. And eventually you'll find a second one. But the cool part is your first one will find one. And what I'm saying, ladies and gentlemen, that over time, leadership on your team, not distributors come and going, but leadership will go from you and somebody else to you and three people to five people to seven leaders to 11 leaders to 15 leaders. And before you know it, you'll be back one day you'll be in a situation where you literally have hundreds of leaders in your organization. Your business will never grow as fast as you want it to until you get to a point where leadership is duplicating. And there's n nothing that can do that for you other than time and putting your energy and efforts into to something that you believe in and that you can be proud to be part of. And, uh, you know, I know it gets frustrating, I know it gets aggravating, and I hope that this week's MLM Minute will be a source of encouragement for you. I appreciate your support. Uh, check out one of our websites this weekend if you get a chance. If it wasn't for you guys, we couldn't do what we do, and we really sincerely appreciate your support. Have an awesome weekend. And, uh, matter of fact, I'm heading back to the beach for a week. I'm going to Myrtle Beach. But I will be back with you next week on the MLM.